we're Chris and Teresa, and we would love to guide you on your fiber arts journey. We own a successful fiber processing mill and online needle felting business, experienced at raising all fiber animals, and have renovated a hundred year old school into a fiber arts retreat center. Processing, needle felting, yarn, roving, fiber animals, and sustainable agriculture are all topics discussed here. Think of this as your one stop shop for advice, information, tips, and getting your questions answered on all things from farm to needle. So pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be inspired while you learn. This is YouTube. Right. Okay, here we go. Hi, y'all. We're back. We she sometimes are... sometimes is Southern. <laughs> we don't know you why. You all. No, it's you all. It's the whole U-E-W-E, uh, -E, y'all. Y'all. You all. Anywho, right now playing in front of us is that we are doing a Barra blend. I'm going to call it the Barra blend. Okay. We're doing a blend of Romney, CVM, and dog hair. And it, it's Newfoundland dog. And it's the super soft down that I've been saving for four years. Four years, at least four years. And why did you decide to do it now? Because I cleaned my pantry and I found two bags of it. Pantry? And <laughs> and Is it a pantry for food? Well, you know, I had some dog hair in it too. <laughs> <laughs> when you're into fiber, you put it where it fits. In the pantry. Um, <laughs> yes, and, and Mariella and Helen were doing some rearranging in the dry rack area. And there was three or four bags there as well. So I figured, you know what? It's just time to get these out of the way. So, so we had some CBM and some Romney that was washed, and I thought, you know, this would be kind of fun to do. You so. should use that in your lace project. You know, I'm thinking about it. I'm I I because I haven't decided how. Or your cruel project. How, <laughs> are you making fun of me? No. Okay, good. I <laughs> I don't know if it would but be good at the. I was cruel. thinking of ways for you to use. Better. Well, I I was thinking of spinning it into a either a lace or a fingering. Because it would make a beautiful sweater or shawl. Because the dog hair is going to halo similar to mohair or angora rabbit hmm. when you work with it. And it does not smell like dog. I get asked that all the time. <gasps> well, doesn't it smell like dog? It's the dog that smells like dog. Once the hair is or the fiber is combed off the dog, and washed in the yarn form, it no longer has dog scent. So, okay. so behind us, you'll see some shelving. Uh huh. Um, that. Yeah, you so we're still after how many years being down here? Goodness, doesn't seem like years. It seems like months. Okay, but 2021. Oh my goodness, three years. <gasps> it's been three years. We're still getting organized. We are not at all organized. Mm -hmm. So. We finally have some shelves, a we're, shelf, a giant long shelf. We're finding ways to store things more mm -hmm. efficiently. So Steve put mm -hmm. up these shelves behind us. Uh, he also, we got some, uh, what would you say that, a shelf? It's, uh, it's a sh it was a shelving unit that Mariella uh, donated to us. Thank you very much. And Steve made them into cubbies with a... Uh, like a, a little reach in. Yes. Yeah, so we, we have so yeah. many different colors of yes. fibers for needle mm -hmm. felting. And this is where Mary uh, works and uh, Bob and Heidi. Uh, so that when she's packaging orders, she can quickly just go mm -hmm. find these colors that yep. people have ordered and grab them out. And it's just a nice place to store them. Where before we had boxes that were saggy, falling over. Because it's so humid down here. It's the cardboard after a while just starts to mm -hmm. sag. Yeah. Yeah. So we're always uh, reorganizing, trying mm -hmm. to figure out new ways to make it better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the shelving back here, I think we're going to be using it for organizing the teacher, uh, the class supplies, because that's an ongoing issue is finding the scissors or the, yeah. So yeah, when we got to set up for a class, it's hard to mm -hmm. 
figure out where everything went. It's on shelves right now that are mm, a bunch of stuff. Not so good. <laughs> yep. And so this last class, mm -hmm. I was trying to find the scissors that went. So I had scissors. We had ordered scissors that went. So we had enough for everybody in the class and couldn't find them. And we still don't They're know where here. They're somewhere there. They're amongst that spectacular bunch of fascinating of supplies there. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is something. You know, I am at all not an expert of wall moss, but I've dealt with them for, I don't know how long, 12 years now. You know, and, and you learn. You learn how to find them. You learn how to, you know, your, your eyes are just focused in on looking for them at all times. And I have to say, I never thought of wool moths yeah, before and, Chris. <laughs> yeah, and most people don't. I never, which is so bizarre, found them in Teresa's wool. And I processed for you seven years prior to us partnership. And she stored them in a shed it was like our lawn shed <laughs> i mean not at all secure or i mean i am just shocked. they were in bags so yeah. we put them in garbage bags and labeled them and put them in this building and then and every, i'm shocked i would drop them off at uh, yeah, chris's mill on my way to fargo yeah yeah it, it, i'm just shocked that that but never never i never so, had wool moss in mine my personal so I, but every once in a while we find them in what's coming mm -hmm. here from others. Right, right. And so this led us to wonder if they start on the sheep. Yeah, is that possible? I was always told it's not possible because wool moss like dark, cold, or not, excuse me, dark, warm, not moving, you know, where a sheep is always moving, so they're not going to lay it on the actual sheep itself. But I wonder. Right. Because, so, and like, how do they find this? How do they get to it? Mm hmm. Because recently you found some. We had a bale mm -hmm. that you'd used a lot of wool out of. Correct. It wasn't then, a, it was a Tyvek bale. It wasn't a full bale. The full bale is about four, 450 to 480. And this was maybe 300 pounds roughly. And we probably has, have used about 120 pounds out of it. And without then, seeing anything. Without nothing. And nothing, we didn't see anything in there. And then we found one. And so then we dug down in there, and inside, towards the bottom of this veil, was this whole colony? <laughs> I don't know what you call them. I mean, it, it was herd. herd, colony, flock, whatever. It was, it was tons of them. It was the little maggots. It was all the little cocoons. And you can tell where they had eaten the wool out in little, in little um, pockets. And it, it just makes zero sense. And because it, that came to us two days after it was sheared. Yeah. So then you were wondering if that was wool that was just in the bag already. Yeah, you know, or, because... Uh, or how like did they get Yeah, in like a sheep shear, they use hydraulic presses. And I'm like, well, maybe there was a little bit of wool that was left in the bottom of the Tybeck bag prior to putting, you know, the, the wool from the, the farm that he was shearing at that time. I don't know. I can't explain it other than... Or it was in the... Or like, were these in the bag? In the bag. That was used before. Yeah. It's just... It just yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, it's, I just don't have the And answer. so then we, we had thought through... So I think last YouTube, I had talked about how we um, powdered the sheep for lice. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if... If bull moss could be on the sheep before they're even shorn, if that would the, take if care the of fact them. that yeah. we're using this powder to put on them is killing the bull moths before, yeah, because it's like a de lacer de yeah. louse type product, and I used to use a, a, a similar type mm -hmm. product also. It's just and so, where they, yeah, yeah where they if come anyone could shed some light on on this or point us in a direction yeah of just expert. a good that discussion on yeah. wool moss would be nice like i said i had never even thought about wool moss i remember people uh, contacting me and asking could wool moths get into my 
you know, needle felted sculptures that I purchased from you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, mine never have. <laughs> you know, that's all I had to go by. And then yeah. I, I had never really thought about wool moss very much until you mm -hmm. were extremely worried about it <laughs> all the time. And I was like, well, I've never mm -hmm. experienced them. So, yeah. Yeah. And I don't know it's why they would get into your house or. Or anything. what would cause them? I don't know. It, well, when Libby went to, she went to college and she had them. She had gone to a um, secondhand store and purchased some things, and she thinks she may have picked them up there. Got it. Mm -hmm. And so she was in her dorm room, which she knits all the time, and then it got into her yarn, and um, what's the problem? It was a problem, and yeah, it wasn't yeah. ever an issue for me so far but um so like when chris gets uh wool from other people like if you have wool moss in that you gets rid of it so that we don't ever get yeah. them in the mill which would be yeah. horrible yeah and the mill is treated three times a year with tempo and the wool moss are very easy to kill it's yeah it's just perplexing how it got into this bale that we had so recently. If if you watch, it's one of our shorts that, that actually shows you, you can see that what a wool moth egg looks like. You can see what the little mm -hmm. maggot looks like, what the little cocoons look like. Yeah. If you see anything like that, get rid of your wool. I mean, it's it's there isn't a mill in the country that will process it with any evidence of wool moth anything. And we all, I mean, I've talked with other mills and, and, and we talk, we're like, look at what we found and look at what we found. And it's, yeah, all mills, they're like, mm -hmm. that's, that's probably the first thing when you open a box, what you look for, in, in, whether it's alpaca, But it would be really hair. interesting to figure out why, yeah, why it's an issue in some and, and not in others, like like Chris yeah. said, I would store, I would, after shearing, put them in garbage bags, put them in our lawn shed. Which is similar to, like, storing them in the, in a barn. I mean, that's And secure. right now, we have a bunch of wool stored in our barn. And we haven't had any issues. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't be, because it's cold. Well, right now, it's, like, yeah, negative six right now. It's been <laughs> pretty nasty, but, yeah. Which is but, how you But it makes them. you wonder, yeah. It yeah. just is, it's just interesting. Yeah. It's a, it's just a, I mean, they can get into your wool socks, your wool coats, your wool sweaters. You, you know, that's why folks have cedar closets and yeah. 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 Which, yeah, like I, I had always thought of, uh, it's like a Southern thing because we don't have to deal with it because we freeze. <laughs> Kills them. Yeah. Yeah, and it's which is the same with yeah. lice. That's why we only have to, uh, we delice them in the fall, and then mm -hmm. it freezes, and then we don't have to worry about it again. Yep, Jessie, when she watched that short of the Wilma, she texted me a picture where she had received um, some wool from, and she said it smelled very strongly of mothballs. It was in a vacuum-packed bag, and it had all three. It had the, the actual moths the maggots as well as the eggs i mean it was the whole all Ew. yeah that that were in there and it's just like how why <laughs> and some people say oh lavender you just put lavender well i have received wool from folks that have lavender sachets in them with wool mocks crawling all over the lab i mean it's it's just i don't know if someone can point us into the <laughs> direction of an expert can figure this out we will share with all yeah because it's frustrating mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. so last week we had talked about our year of creativity and we started our year of creativity and we decided to start january was going to be the month of embroidery mm -hmm. and so we both mm -hmm. went to our store here at the gnome schoolhouse mm -hmm. and we picked out an embroidery kit and we started those this week. Which is Let's see back. them. Come on. She's got mine too, so. Take my glasses off. So. 
Where's Chris's? This is Chris's. She Here's decided Chris's. to do these llamas. I'm doing, they're called llama mamas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the, I did, this is, I don't know, it's flowers. So, and they're both Jessica Long. Um, mm -hmm. Embroidered kits. Embroidered kits. Come with kits. everything. And this is how far Chris got. I got the pattern in the hoop and then discovered I didn't have a scissor because I was this weekend we did Christmas with the grandbabies down in Minneapolis so at the Grey Wolf Lodge if anyone has ever been there yes great fun and oh boy <laughs> <laughs> so I started mine and got a this far. Let it's been this super fun. Close. They're so pretty. Oh, flowers. that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. Yep. As you can see, mine will be super cute. And the colors are super cute. And the reason I, I brought this along when we went to Minneapolis, because on the way back, I had every intention of doing this in the vehicle. In the evenings, you said you were going to do it. Because you had your own room. I did have my own room. <sighs> if anyone has ever been to the Grey Wolf Lodge, uh. over a holiday weekend mm. with, and I was... How many grandchildren? Well, there's five grandchildren, but I had my own room. But the room next to me, I think, had at least 40 small children in there. Why? It sounded like it. Because they were like bouncing off the walls and screaming and then the room on the other side of me pretty sure also had at least maybe 20 small children and you know god bless them i love small children but it was it was like <laughs> were you on the top floor no <laughs> why because they didn't have a top I, I always try to request to be on the top floor i was on the seventh floor and when i went to the elevator I noticed there was an eighth floor. Oh. It was just, and then it was super cold. Must have been the Google box so to get on the top down, floor. Yeah, it was so cold down there that they they shut down the body slides that went outside because oh, yeah. it was too cold. I couldn't get my hotel room above sixty two degrees, which which is fine. I don't like it super hot, but it was just. I would have died. Yeah, yeah. It was just. It wasn't. It was. I had a wonderful, so awesome you couldn't, time with grandbaby, <laughs> you couldn't so. embroider because your hands would have froze, and I couldn't concentrate because I was listening to screaming and bouncing and yelling, and <laughs> it was just. Oh. But oh my, it was a wonderful time, wonderful time. You Priceless. slept well. No, I slept <laughs> horribly. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I had a wonderful time. Uh, with her grandchildren and children. Yeah. Yes. I had a wonderful time with the grandchildren and children. My hubby didn't didn't go, but wasn't able to go. He had to he wasn't able to go. But anyway, um yeah. This is beautiful. Thank you. So yes. because it was freezing cold outside, it was I don't know, what was the temperatures? Oh my goodness, there was like Sad. no travel it, advice because of the free Well, this was all across the United States. I mean I heard it was in Frisco, Texas, it was like seven degrees or ten degrees. Yeah, so it was everywhere. so cold. Yeah, uh, it was a very good time for me to embroider. <laughs> yeah. So I that that looks beautiful. I enjoyed. I really enjoyed it. So mm -hmm. it was. Those are cool colors I have, for your house too. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have. Um, You're almost done. Some leaves. I have some catching to up do. to do this week. My husband is going to be leaving on cold. Thursday, so I'll be able to get some catching up done. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah. So I really enjoyed it. It's it's been fun. There's um, the stitches were easy too. So what I'm curious, maneuver. yeah. So when you do embroidery, it's always displayed. Oh, there's my needle. It's always displayed in this. Uh huh. Is it, what? I. Why? I don't want it. In this, so with the screwy be. thing, you could take that off and put it in another a frame. A frame, mm -hmm. but it's like three D because this little flower sticks out, which is and why it it's so cute. Under, it should not be under glass. Yeah, either it should. Yeah. So I just need to find a different frame. Yeah. Yep. 
And so when I opened it up, it seemed really tiny. But it's been fun because you, you're going to be yeah. done so quickly. Yeah. And That's yours I'm... is the same size. So yeah. it should go very quickly. Go quick. These are a little, I mean, the it's different stitches than... are a little smaller than some of those. I don't know. Maybe not. And then this and has like a... like we showed last time, hers is a picture. It's different because yeah. mine's just outlines of the, you know, different flowers yeah, and things. And, this actually and hers is a picture of that. And so then the background is lavender, and that will show then once the little llamas are done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cute. she's inspired now. I am. Mm -hmm. This week, like tonight, she's going to go home. No, After I'm not. This, i got to go home and feed my husband because he's still home. Past. Yeah, he I'm might be sleeping. Too. I'm hungry too. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been really enjoying the broidering. So mm -hmm. next time we'll see some, what are they? Some llamas. llamas. Mama llamas. And we'll see where I'm at. Yeah. We, we both chose a second kit just in case. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to try to embroider, just use embroidery in a different way. So I'm thinking with needle felting. Yeah, I have an it. idea. Do you want to see what I'm going to do? Sure. Okay. Excuse her. Okay, here at the mill, um, I'm going to spin some cruel yarn, I will call it, mm -hmm. for embroidery. And it's going to be a two-ply fingering. And then we have these little hoops that are car coasters. Fit, fit into absolutely perfectly, but they don't fit in there enough to hold it in the thing. Yes, they do. Do they? I know, but okay, it needs to be tight to be able to embroider in it. Oh, yes, yes, to be able to embroider on it. You don't have to have it in a hoop. You, I can embroider like this, absolutely. And then when it's done, I'm going to put it into this hoop as such. But it's you can embroider, but it's not as easy if it's not tight you will be amazed i will be first i gotta finish this i'm gonna finish this this week i'm gonna do some cruel work you have a goal this i have a goal by this week <laughs> what's going on this weekend <laughs> you're oh my tonight goodness. you're starting no this. i'm not doing i'm guarantee you i'm not doing this tonight <laughs> when are you doing that you have to have goals to set goals. I'm What's tomorrow? You have your little book. We should put it in there. <laughs> when are you starting this? <laughs> it, okay, by next. I'm going to have it done by next yeah, Well, that's YouTube. what I said. Oh, okay. And then you were shocked and horrified. I know, and, but I can do it. I can and do it. I'm, I'm sheesh. real nice. I'm sheesh. And it's going to be breathtaking and magnificent yes. because I am going. If we to said be amazing at any point, absolutely, there will be, be very, very unpredicted. <laughs> Believe me. If we have said amazing seventeen times up to this point, it's very Excuse possible us. that we have, Excuse and we're sorry, mm -hmm. and we're trying to improve. We are. Okay. okay. Now onward. I've also worked on some other things. Oh my goodness. Miss Overachiever. Y'all get used to this because this is how it's going to go. Chris is going to come with her little thing and Teresa will come. Well, look what I did. But there's times where she like speeds on ahead. And what do you got like, here? Oh, look what I did. So. Oh. Oh. The coasters. Oh, those are wonderful. So you need a needle felt around there? Or yeah. Or stitch. Oh, those are absolutely wonderful. So these are well done, Teresa. Coasters oh, that we have. Aren't they cute? And this is oh. a way that our university, which is our nonprofit, is Look at how fundraising. These are. So you can buy a kit and you can make you'll get all these colors. There's three colors. There's red. Should I get this the dark kit? pink? There, well, I don't think so. Okay. I, th there's this dark red and there's this pink and then, then this pink. Mm -hmm. And then you get four coasters. coasters. Yep. And then you can decorate them. And a heart. These colors. You get a heart, too. Oh, and a heart um, yep. cookie, cookie cutter. cutter. Yep. And so you put, oh, you can make these hearts. 
with the cookie cutters. Super cute. And this is how we're fundraising for our nonprofit, which is the university. Uh, and that's for Giving Hearts Day, which is kind of a local event where you can yep. uh, donate money to our uh, nonprofit. And our nonprofit is helping to make it easier for um, schools to come here. Youth groups and 4-H uh, groups, 4-H groups uh, things mm -hmm. to come here, make it more affordable for them. So when we do a tour of the mill and we do... Um, these little classes for we have to shut down the mill and it's kind of we don't like to shut down cost prohibitive <laughs> very much so uh, yeah. because we're we're actually making things that we're selling and so we shut down the mill and we do this tour which, which we also love to do because we like to mm -hmm. educate and so the university is helping to make that uh, cheaper not cheaper mm -hmm. more affordable it, it's it's like a scholarship almost yeah. for, you know, for the students, for the groups, whatever it is, 4-H uh, classroom, um, mm -hmm. homeschool group, what have you. It, it $20 is what we charge for tour of the mill, and it, it brings it down to, I think, So when you're $5. bringing a class of 60 yeah. kids, yes. it's, it's kind of, you can't do it. Yeah, so $1,800, that's, that's. Yeah, yeah, so the university is making it cheaper for class you know, a teacher to bring mm -hmm. her entire class here. Yep. And if you want to help us with that, you can buy one of these kits, which is you get four coasters, which is these white coasters that are made here out of our wool. And then you get the, the three different colors of wool and you can decorate your coasters as you like. And the, you get the cookie cutter this to make, really cute. That one's to super make cute. the hearts. Super cute. So, and these are just, there's three here that um, I worked on this week just so that we'd well have pictures and done. those are awesome yeah okay awesome. and then <laughs> oh dear <laughs> so if you've been following along on the oh i hope it's in here what do they do with it <laughs> oh i found it what is it so if you've been following along on these little cows and dresses oh no there's one coming it's in the works <gasps> and if i'd have had more time right now it looks like a red angus oh, what's it gonna be it's gonna be a scottish highlander <gasps> with hair and horns oh oh, Just oh, oh my goodness. glowing beautiful hair and oh, a dress he is gonna, absolutely adorable she, she is absolutely adorable. She's going to be wearing a dress. Oh, uh, she's what color? So cute. What color? I don't know. What color do Scottish Highlanders wear? Green? Because they're Scottish. It's a tartan. It should be like a. <laughs> they should wear. I don't know. She'll. She's smiling. She's very happy. But oh. She's in the works. This she's is what I've been working on. Absolutely adorable. Oh, is she adorable? So. Hopefully, everybody's loving these cows and cows and dresses. It's yeah. there's been it's a, a huge thing. A request for kits. There's been a request for um, a retreat. retreat. So, and I have toyed around with. So right now we have a Bear Creek Bunny retreat in the mm -hmm. spring, and so maybe in the fall, uh, cows and dresses. <laughs> People, wow! I'm not sure yet. Oh, and wow. the the calendar is kind of full, so we're. It'll have to be during the week. Yeah, but, but the, bu fine. the bunny one is during the week, and it's fine. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's all about right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, super cool! It's magnificent. Wow! Well done. You were Sheesh. very creative. I was very creative. Just it's super impressive. Super drip. impressive. What, how did we use drip again? <laughs> drip. Drip. It's strip. Drip. It's drip. Drip. It was two YouTubes ago. Is While there, editing. Is what? Is there room in the creativity camp? Or is it? <laughs> no. No, no, no. We have wills. Good job, Willow. You do a good job. Is yes. there what? There's room in creativity camp. Is there room? Which is coming up, what? In Soon, two weeks? Two weeks. A week? 27th. Which is super. I'm, I'm, it, I, I don't know what to say. It's, I was going to say the word. It was, it's going to be fascinating. <laughs> No, it's going to be incredible, marvelous, and absolutely Impressive. unbelievable to gather this group of 
folks together. And the right now, there's only juices ten. Will be going everywhere. I think there's only ten. I don't care. How many could come? How many rooms are left? There's can they room. come for there's, a day? Yes, you can book for the day. You can come for. Um, you can. So, just, what is the schedule? What is the? I should know this. You uh. should know this. <laughs> All so, I know is I'm making brooms. Yes. So you you come. You get a spot in the gym, a, a table or a comfy chair, depends on what your craft is, uh, and you you can set a goal. Like you can tell us, I want to get done with this by the end of the weekend, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll help you. We'll hold you, hold you. To we'll it. have this little cheerleading squad that goes around. And are you, you know, where are you at here? Are you visiting too much? Are you eating too much? <laughs> <laughs> know Stop and <laughs> focus <laughs> will help you uh if that's, that's what you awesome. want if you don't want that we won't bother you um uh, but you know i seriously you could that. stay up all night if you wanted to to right. work all night or I you know, could which is beautiful there's nobody telling you four. honey you need to go to bed now exactly. it's time for bed no. or there's nobody yeah there's nobody bothering you you can do whatever you want to yep and um so we're set up in the gym and we're working on our crafts and then we have breakfast uh, which is in the dining room but lunch is kind of a charcuterie board kind of style Amazing. where you go just grab a plate or whatever you want mm -hmm. this will be setting out you can go get this is there going to be hummus it's very possible. I hope so. And Maybe you can go just amazing. help yourself anytime. Like, you don't have to stop. I'm in the middle of figuring this out or, you know, whatever you're working on. You don't have to stop then. You can go get it whenever you want to. You can fill your plate and come back and sit down and um, continue working on your project. Uh, supper is a wonderful meal in the dining room or whatever you want to call it, dinner. Uh, what is it? I call it supper. Uh, but you can I do that supper. There's lunch <laughs> and, uh, supper than in my house, but <laughs> yeah. And then we do that in the dining room. There's also uh, where you can go work on, if you need a break from what you're doing, mm -hmm. you can take a break and we'll have a little station set up where you can just go do something. Do a puzzle for a little bit or color. Yeah. Uh, there's just, uh, we're going to have simple, things. different um, projects set up. set up some little needle felting stations. Yeah. And so you're going to be working among other people that are doing amazing things. Mm -hmm. And you can interact with them. You mean fascinating and, and, and oh, possibly. What did, what did I just call What did I just say? Well, I don't know what you just said. But it oh, shouldn't have been said. superb. <laughs> Shocking. Staggeringly stunning. Wonderful. They're going to be doing these marvelous things next to you. And you can learn from them and you're like oh i've never heard of whatever you're doing and Legendary. you can talk Legendary. to them and yeah and learn about that mm -hmm. and even if it's something you never wanted to do before you know in your life and you still don't <laughs> right it's, it's just fun just like, to look at that interact with these people and this yeah. is our very first creativity camp and we're very excited about it because this is something that we see as huge mm -hmm. in what we wanted to do here uh, why we went through all of this torture. <laughs> torture? <laughs> I don't know if I... Uh, torture? <laughs> uh, why we've gone through putting this together, uh, this school, this renovation, so that you can come stay here and experience this. And um, this is one of the big things that is coming true. And mm -hmm. so we are super excited about it. And like we said, there's, I don't know, I think there's 10 people signed up, but it's going to be the most amazing little weekend for these 10 people. And we're excited to share with you. And I, we do realize it's January in North Dakota, but if... We don't focus on that. We don't. We had our cold weather. We had our little ice storm. We're done with those. Okay. And if we had a storm... Guess what? You're stuck here, and it's so cozy. Exactly. Or if you can't get here, we credit everything. I right. Mean, that's, we, re yeah. we refund. Yeah. And because, you know, this has happened. Last year it happened every other weekend. Mm -hmm. 
And so we're yes, used to this. We either but, rescheduled or cr or or credited. Right. And if you come and yeah. you get here and you're stuck, it you so will be it. You we will treat be pleased. you well. Yeah. You will be. So you get an extra day of of yes. creativity. And I know we have we have another creativity camp coming up in the fall. I don't think it's the fall. <laughs> I think it's in the summer. And it well, there's is another it June? one. Uh, we have another creativity come creativity camp coming up, mm -hmm. and I know that there's somebody that's uh, working on their plans to fly in and stay here. And awesome! That is super exciting, and that is what we want for this. So we have you can come for the day, you can come for um, the entire time, and stay here in one of the guest rooms. The guest rooms, of mm -hmm. course, are limited. We don't, we do only have eleven, uh, but you can bring a friend. You can stay in a room with together one other friend, mm -hmm. two other friends. Three other friends. Send so many you want to pack in. And if you want to share a bed. Yeah. Which is, it would be worth it. Yeah. To, yeah. To come and stay here. The food is amazing. The, um, just visiting with each other. And then there's no pressure on this. You're not learning something. It's not a, it's not a class. You're just doing your own thing. And if all you want to do it. is wind a ball of yarn, that's your goal for the weekend. Awesome! Come. Yeah, it's it's there's I, there's I think no you'll judgment. Be, there's no yeah. I think you'll be shocked <laughs> at the stupefying um, camaraderie. Yes, the camaraderie you, and the upliftingness. Because that's what we do. We we hold each other up and we support each other. And, and it, it, it. I just, am going to be a part of it. I'm going to be out there. I have, I'm going to have a table. Chris, I believe, is going to. Sometimes she, uh, she's just distracted and goes and <laughs> does something else. But I will be, I will be <laughs> making brooms and whisks. See, so Chris will be here. You can interact with us. I'll be We're going to be here and there, everywhere. But you know, no, she's going to be making brooms. And she's going to have brooms. a goal. And I'm going to set the goal. Mariella and Mariella and I are going. Mariella is was the broom corn grower, and we're going to yes, we're perfecting our skills and. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what it's about. And if Chris can't stay focused, we're all going to be on her. <laughs> Teresa, no, it was Libby. Libby got her cat this plug-in ball. So I ordered the same. I'm, I don't know if it was the same plug-in ball, but it's What's got it this called? US we, we, oh, Weeble. Yeah. Something like that. Something, yeah. Anyway, it's got a USB cord that you plug it in for an hour, and then it randomly rolls. It rolls around the floor yeah. and tantalizes your cat. Oh my goodness. It's astonishing. It is absolutely stupendous. I just, I, I, my mind is blowing that this, I ha, I don't know what it, I suppose so six month old kitten yeah, so literally kittens. plays so until fun. the thing dies. And <laughs> it's, it's so cool. Yeah. So Libby has a cat that's, I don't know what, how old. Curtis is. Curtis is older, five, six. Yeah. Yeah. But so she, and he's all by himself. And so she sometimes has to leave him in the apartment by himself. Mm -hmm. And so she's like, he needs something to do. Uh -huh. So she got him this little ball for Christmas and it rolls around. And y there's different settings you can yep. set it at. So it's like really mild. And it just rolls around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then it stops. And then you can set it like a little more active. And it actually bounces. Uh huh. And then it doesn't do anything until they come and touch it or yep. interact with it. And then it'll yep. start rolling everywhere. And it's amazing. It's, it's kind of cute. It's absolutely right? amazing. And it has like <gasps> LED lights. What? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's just. It's absolutely breathtaking. Fascinating. <laughs> it's superb. It absolutely fascinating. And staggering. I, I just sit there and I, I watch, I mean, Okay. Although last night, so at, she's found at, herself chasing it <laughs> at midnight. All of a sudden, I hear this. <laughs> it's I see this blue light. Like, so you must have it on my. The, you don't have it. Da -da 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 no, it's not jumping. It's it's on the blue. So it like and then it and but in the middle of the night, yeah, it's not. It's going to be charged in the middle of the night from now on because 
somehow it ended up in our bedroom and that was that a little was freaky to have this thing zipping, zipping around, around the bedroom. But yeah, so I don't have one. I yet. totally. If you have a cat, oh my goodness, you totally recommend this. This. So cat. Libby gets. So she got this for her cat, and but she also gives gifts to all of our pets and, and her brother's pets, and she got my cats this tunnel, so it's like a log. And it expands, so you, it's like wire. Yeah. Uh, and it's you can store it. Okay. I haven't stored it yet because it's just this it. big log and they can run it's like a tunnel and they run through it and then there's little holes that can stick their heads up <laughs> every once in a while and they can go out the side or they and we have oh we have too many cats we we have four cats four cats in our house okay the one kitty's okay yeah okay good oh uh, we have four cats one of them is a kitten i've had a kitten every year for the last three years because I go to the barn and it's a mistake and I go to the barn and there's <laughs> one that might die and I have to save it and so it comes in the house and that's how we got four cats. And so Libby got in this tunnel and the older cats were like, mm, we're too good for that. And But no, no, they're all in the tunnel and some of them are so fat that they move the tunnel <laughs> and they try to get in it. <laughs> the whole tunnel goes across the living room. Uh, but oh, I have fun. caught them all in it. They just like to hang out in it. How cute. Or um, it's just, I don't, like popping out of them holes must be exciting to them. I don't know, but they're cute. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing what we do with <gasps> <our pets>. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, boy. It's so drip. Drip. Lit. Lit. I'm lit. It. Whatever that means. Anyway. <laughs> it's unbelievable and legendary. It's so What legendary. we do for the yes. cats. Yes, it is. Because you know what? <gasps> or 55. And this is what happens when you're 55. <laughs> you live for the cats. <laughs> it's, a, it's scary. Oh, it is. Okay, last week we had a question. How long did it take to make the first roving, roving, Okay, I, roving, you know what? We skipped something that's roving, all over this roving, table. Roving, roving, roving. Oh! Because <laughs> I'm so excited to say roving, 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 roving. Okay. Okay, I mean, you know. Yeah. Okay, Here so we, we have this 50 yards. 50 yards. We talked about this last week. And so we've paired them up. Look at so them. So we, we're, we're this showing This is the 4th of July. This um, is the. I don't know. It's very cute, whatever it's it is. It's cute, whatever it is. And this is kind of cool. These colors we kind of paired together and we think they're cute. And I. So we've. This, we've, this reminds me of deck of cards. That is beautiful. Yeah. This is cute. I don't know what it reminds me of, but it's, so we've been thinking of ways we're going to use this mm -hmm. uh, for color work, yep. uh, for weaving. Uh -huh. So like with a small loom, you can make a little mug rug uh, for you your. You can make a whole set of mug rugs with that. I wonder <laughs> how yards. many. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. I, ex as soon as I'm done with my embroidery. I think you should make the deck of. <laughs> I think and my make cow. The, the deck of cards one. I'm going to make the deck of cards one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and possibly this one is really cute. Mm -hmm. These colors. Yeah. I really like this one. Yeah. yeah. So what we are doing, Teresa had this great idea because I've been making these 50 yard skeins. So what we're going to do is we are going to have them available for purchase. And they are a light worsted heavy DK about the size three ply and they're um, putting this in my bag <laughs> <laughs> they are CVM or and or combo of Cormo as well so they're very soft as well and they have a lot of spring to what are you doing <laughs> well, I was gonna make a couple sacks Anywho, um, um, but so then Teresa says why don't we just have these always available in the color so as long as I have these skeins available as we're dying for the colors that we need for the kits and the half ounce skeins and what and the half ounce um, little bags that we sell for needle filters for needle filters why don't we just we could just throw in one of these or several. Yeah, throw in six eight ten of these little 50 yard skeins and so we'll always have these available 
which is kind of exciting. I got the hiccups. But these are natural color. CVM. Yeah, because CVM, they, I'm going to hiccup. And, but these will fluctuate in colors. Yes, they will. Because, because, you know, sheep are different. Sheep are different. God mm -hmm. paints them up all God sorts of that. different ways. Astounding. So, yeah. Shocking sometimes mm -hmm. with, they look like little cows sometimes. <laughs> Some of them do. They're so cute. Some of the CVMs look like yes, cows. They do. They're so cute. Anyway. Um, so... So watch for that. So that'll be that'll that'll be coming soon. Probably not this episode. No, probably yeah. So don't go because we're working on it. We're working on it. We've got quite. This a, is quite how many number. colors we have. Yeah, we've got quite a well. We've got purple. And I so think we'll we'll name them the colors the same. Yeah. As so we have in the half ounce needle felting wool. Right. Right. And that'll keep it really easy for us. Absolutely. It'll keep it easy for us. To keep it and consistent. And poor Mary, she ships and all. She has to yes. put all of these in oh. the packages. So we can we can maybe utilize the cute little cubbies that my hubby has made, and we can maybe they can We're share need the cubbies. More Steve. They, <laughs> yep. Right behind us, cubbies. Oh my, that would this would be a nice. Anyway, that's for a later if you're date. Watching. Yes. Okay, so. Um, that, oh, and then the other thing we're going to do, which we haven't started right now because I, I want to get some more of these colors done, is the, the two-ply fingering for the cruel. The cruel. Cruel is coming. Cruel. We're so, starting with this. This yep. is for weaving color work. So stay tuned. I'll keep you posted on the, on the, on the shorts when the cruel starts. So excited about that. Because she's going to learn cruel after she gets this first I embroidery am. project done. Yes, I got it in the, in the, um, in the hoop. calendar, or in the, the hoop. hoop or something. It's in the coop. In, in the, the coop. coop. <laughs> the hoop. It's, it's also in the, in the hoop. coop, but she doesn't have a the coop. The marvelous hoop. I don't have a coop anymore. That is really sad. I really miss fresh eggs. Roving, roving, roving. How long? If you all saw the shorts that we did. Roving, roving, roving. Raw wool. It took us a while. Yeah. And so as I was Two editing hours. them, as I was editing them, I'm like, I'm, I'm very thankful they didn't involve me more. <laughs> <laughs> because I would have uh, been like, okay, now we need to whip cracks. And we need to, <laughs> yeah, there could have been, Woo! there could have been a, yeah, we could have done a little bit better, but you know. And I tried to add them while I was editing and I, yeah, it didn't look, it didn't work and so it's the best we it's like do. i would have been too perfectionism -y. yeah so roving 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 anywho okay and the prize winner of so how we, long did it take and it took us it, so took, it took two, two hours, hours to, to for film. them to film that yep and then it only took me about half an hour to edit it uh because i didn't like, i thought i was gonna like shorten them or no, we you had know. them down. We had them down to, <laughs> to the second. Because, you know, I thought I would have to do it to the beat. And I was going to, I tried to add background music. It just yeah. didn't work out. And then I tried to add the whip cracks and the um, screaming. <laughs> and no, it didn't work. That was most of the time I spent. But it, so any coming up in the future, roving, roving, I might have to roving. take over. Leah Lay. Lay Olson, 9480. You're the winner. So you just Congrats. need to contact us on bearcreekfelting.com. Let us know your shirt size and your address, and we'll send you a prize. Yes. And what is next week's question, Teresa? Next week's question is, da, da, da. how do I check my sheep uh, to see if they have an, uh, a worm problem? So if they're infected with worms, yep. uh, how do I do that? And extra points um, for if you know what that's called, the method that I use um, to check them. So I've talked about it so many times, so you had yep. to have heard it. <laughs> yep. Uh, because it's that's been a major part. Staggering how, how, how much you've talked about it. Yeah. Right. It's been a major part of how we've been improving our flock. Yeah. Uh, yep. Just trying to get them healthier. So. 
it's impressive. Which it, it, it's we have impressive. seen improvement, which is really exciting. So Very uh, if you know anything about that, if you share that in the comments below, uh, you will be put in for the prize for next time. Absolutely. And we love your comments. The more comments, the better. They help us. Mm -hmm. uh, they help our video get seen. Um, and if you like and subscribe, that also helps us. Yeah. So, And if you watch Chris's shorts and you enjoy them, if you like them, uh, that also helps Comment. us. We are trying to get, uh, I think we're at close to eight. I think it's close to 8,000. We'd um, like to hit over the 10,000 mark. So if you, if you know, Abby, just yeah. like and subscribe. I hate to say and beg, but oh my goodness. It that seems to be the so way of doing amazing. things on YouTube. But we, yes, we, and here we are doing the begging and the, and the please, please, please. Yeah, so if you actually, yes. if you, you like what we're talking about. you a bat, something. blah, 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 a <laughs> crazy lady, that's okay. I don't mind. You, but maybe you don't need to subscribe if you, <laughs> <laughs> if you say that about Chris. <laughs> yeah, God bless you all. All of you for liking, subscribing, staying with us, commenting, and following, commenting. Oh, man. emailing, you can't purchasing. Believe. You just you have no idea how much we, we love and appreciate you all. So we have a lot of uh, upcoming mm -hmm. retreats at the Gnome Schoolhouse. You can find them at gnomeschoolhouse.com. If you want to support us by purchasing yeah. any of those um, coaster kits, uh, that's at university.org. Uh, and... Mm -hmm. A giving hearts day which is a regional thing but you can help us um from all wherever you nation. are yeah. uh, that is coming up in february uh, and we would love that if you want to help us support educating uh schools uh we're not all we're not only working on local schools we're putting together we're thinking of putting together curriculum curriculum for everywhere across the nation and world yes more about fiber arts so and that's what your um, we're all about education here donations will go to yeah i mean yeah. we live in a school we are housed in a school mm -hmm. education so you can check out the upcoming classes and retreats at gnomeschoolhouse.com if you go under events and then 2020 2024 classes and retreats we have so many and i'm always adding more um there are some that are filling up fast so if you are interested at all, I would check that out. Uh, today we were looking at 2025 and setting, <laughs> um, thinking of setting, you know, setting aside the weeks and the dates yeah. uh, because time goes fast and we're filling them up, which is yeah. amazing. This was the dream. So thank you for to for see it unfold before us. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty mind blowing, breathtaking, and mind blowing, staggering. Mother, folks. <laughs>